I think what art can teach us about technology is to imagine beyond our current uh, reality, to think outside the box and to push what is possible. The idea of the project is to symbolize the energy and momentum that is present within this field of technology. Also, the sense that we are kind of at the beginning of something and we don't really know what's going to happen next. Qualcomm has been trying to help enhance a person's everyday life. I think being an artist, you have to be open to things that are different, open to change, of course, and open to things that just in your wildest dreams would not happen. If I were to walk you through the piece, I would describe it as a depiction of an urban and rural space coexisting and feeding off each other and how these spaces are actually very reliant on each other. From the beginning, it became clear that the human element needed to be prominent. Some of the specific areas were the idea of detecting cancer from blood cells with nanotechnology, virtual reality, the way that could potentially be used in different forms of healthcare in the future. I wanted people to see something from a distance, and when they were drawn into the artwork, they would be able to explore the other details around it. We thought that we would use as inspiration this scan of a brain that shows neural pathways. The flowers shows more of the human aspect. That was very important to me, to show humanity. As an artist and as a person living today, why wait means a lot to me because I think we have a lot going on in our world that needs paying attention to. It's important to be aware of innovation, educate yourself and be receptive to that. The technology is here today, so really, why wait? When we can enjoy it, it could enhance our life and benefit from it now just made me feel optimistic for a future where people are actively seeking out the solutions to the issues of tomorrow.